Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. Testing the Steam Boiler Pop Safety Valve The pop safety valve is the last line of defense for a boiler. It's there in case the pressure controls fail. During my boiler classes, I ask the attendees if they check their safety valves. Most do not and give the same excuse. If you test it, it will leak. Sounds like something from the movie Field of Dreams. How often should you test the pop safety valve? This is commonly asked, and I recommend contacting your insurance company because they are ultimately responsible if it fails. The safety valve manufacturers can also give you a clue on how they want their valves tested. One manufacturer suggests once a year, while another suggests twice a year. Combraco and Apollo recommend every two months and at the end of a non-service period, whatever that means. There's a rule in our industry that you never, ever check the pop safety valve on a Friday afternoon. If you do, that thing will leak, and you will have a tough time finding one at a supply house. I like to do it on the mornings of Monday or Tuesday so I can find one if, in case it starts to leak but I'm superstitious. Another commonly missed item when checking the pop safety valve is the manufacturers of the pop safety valve want the boiler pressure to be at least 75% or higher of the rated pressure. For instance, a low pressure steam boiler has a pop safety valve set for 15 PSI. You should raise the boiler pressure to 11 PSI or higher before testing the safety valve. Once the test is complete, you can adjust the steam pressure back to the desired PSI. The discharge piping should be directed to a safe place and not aimed where people could walk. It's typically about six inches from the floor. Although if you were standing by the discharge pipe outlet, you could get burnt. When looking at the pop safety valve, make sure it's the proper application for it. The ones for steam boilers will discharge in pounds per hour, and a relief valve for a hydronic boiler will be rated in BTUs per hour. Remember, the steam is hot and will cause third degree burns in less than a minute. Use safety goggles and gloves. I like to let it flow for five seconds before releasing the lever, and then watching to make sure it stops. If it doesn't stop, try opening it again and blowing it off. If it still leaks after that, the safety valve should be replaced and the boiler should not be fired. The leaking could allow a scale to form and changes the relieving pressure of the pop safety valve. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have my two websites. The Brewing with Steam site has monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you could find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective and I hope to see you on the next case.